Hey guys. Oh. What well, we are on. Wow camp. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow camp number three. Well, it's, it, it, technically it's number four, but we didn't manage to stay on number three because of all the midges. But uh, we're going to do it. We didn't put the spray on. So we're at yeah. It's all right. I've got the spray. So we're heading up to Charwood and we're pushing up the 63 steps. So this is going to be a bit of a nightmare because we are going light or lighter. We've got a little Lavoo tent with us and uh, my 65 litre backpack and Charlotte, he's got his uh, He's got his, what's it called, his little backpack on as well. So, well, we don't want rocking and knocking noise. So yeah, so we're heading up the 63 steps and then hopefully make our way into, into the wood. Uh, we should be set up, I would say, for around about a quarter past six, half past six, something like that. There shouldn't be anybody about, fingers crossed. The midges are coming out, you can tell, and that's uh, a bit of a nightmare, but we have got spray for it. They're all near my eyes. Oh, no. my you need her like me. So, um, we have got the Lavoo with us tonight, and we're hoping we're going to get some rain. It's weather forecast around about 10, 10 30 for rain. And yeah, we've also got the blood moon tonight to look forward to. Don't think we're gonna so, see it though, Well, it's if it's gonna rain, no. Oh my god. Oh here we go guys. <laughs> Check this out. So yeah, we've gotta climb up these. I'm counting. So I better I'm <laughs> I'll film it, but by the time I get to the top I won't be able to speak, so you won't get much you won't get much out <laughs> of here. Whew, here we go. Oh boy. It's like you're taking two steps at once, how, how they spread out. So yeah, we've got the Lavu. Get that set up. Get some food on the go. Chill out. Hopefully we'll get some deer activity tonight. And uh, we'll see the moon. Oh my word. We're getting there. 63 steps, what a killer. Who invented 63 steps? Three, 63. Oh my God. We're in guys. We made it. Jar wood. See how much it's changed from the last time that we were here. We camped just over there in between these two trees here. But all this was so low. We had our campfire in between all them. Yeah, yeah. But look how much it's changed. We need a lawn though. It's crazy. No one ever cuts it because they don't know it's here. Yeah. This is our little secret wood. It's so good. And someone else's. Very hard to get to. Really hard to get to. But once you're here, it's worth it. It really is. So we're going to camp. Spin you back around. We're just going to camp in that clearing over there. Oh. Uh, we sprayed ourselves up with uh, some some oil, like repellent. Okay. Hopefully, it's going to be insect repellent. It'll put it to its test tonight because this place is covered in them. But it's such a gorgeous location. So once we uh, we get set up, mm -hmm. I'll take you around. We can have a walk around and. We'll show you what it's like now that it's fully uh, in the, in the grips of summer. <coughs> hey, fever kid. Kind of. Trouble cure for 
Okay guys, so I thought I'd show you around our little paradise, mine and Charlie's. This is awesome. So over there, oh, where all the reeds are, that's uh, a bit of a bog there. Yeah. So we, we tend to stay away from that. You can tell by the poo. If you need a poo, you might go there. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. But this is it. What I'm going to try and do is, is get rid of all this grass that we've been walking on and try and smooth it all over so it looks as though there's no deer when we are here. So this is the place where we camped uh, back in May, early May time, After Easter. just here. And believe it or not, oh, yeah. it's no wonder why those deer were barking at us, because this is obviously where a deer sleeps, yep. as you can tell with, um, with a print. The head there. The booty there, the legs there. It's got to be, it's got to be. So yeah, so that's where we camped the first time we came here. Wait, Dad. What? If that is a tent, that's fully camouflaged. <laughs> no, camouflage. that's a tree. That, well, this is another, this is another cool spot actually, <laughs> where I thought that we could possibly camp. So, the game trail runs basically all the way down here mm. and through where we camped. So that's why they were barking at us, I think. So as we move on, this is another camping spot, what I thought. And look at all this, look at all this here that's been pushed down. So that could be a, yeah, somebody could have camped here, possibly. So I thought, get the levu under here as well. Cool, that's yeah. a good hiding spot. Like you're at war. You're there. <laughs> like you're at Come war. On. I hope we're not at war. So I thought maybe here we'll camp next time. It's quite in flat. There. In there. Yeah, but we could get the banshee in here, no problem. Banshee. And it's quite protected with the uh Environment. Yeah, with the trees and stuff. So let's get back down onto the path. No, oh. don't do that. Yeah. Right, well we don't do that, do we? This is a little bit boggy around here. So anyway, yeah. if you can see it, there's the zip wire guys. Yeah. On the other video, which is uh, down below, if you want to check that out. 
yeah you can have a look at that where um, I actually do the zip wire and that zip wire is not moved well I don't we don't think it did we placed it there so we don't think it's moved I'm not tall enough but to reach the handlebar it came from where all those ferns were I walked up that hill I can't believe it. I'd never get anywhere close that'd be up to my neck I'd be up to my neck and fern but yeah let's have a look down here so this here is a drop oh my. to the river at the bottom there wait dad dear till you come up here look. oh gosh dear will come up here yeah. no problem so we're expecting a lot of deer activity tonight so hopefully we'll uh, we'll get quite a bit of footage we'll see we'll see how we're doing got uh, some new kit as well so we'll head back to base and we'll kind of show you the new kit when it's all in but camp recess <laughs> camp reset that's my shoe no, camp recess. is that what you're calling it So, as we uh, as we build inside the Lavu, we'll uh, we'll go through the the gear that we've got. It's got a new um, got one of those candles. What is it? UAC, uh, which is great for inside the the tent later for ambient light. And can you spy? <laughs> the only thing that I can see is my bag. That's mint. Can you guys make it out? There's my bag just there. <laughs> Pointing's not going to help on the camera though. Oh, it does do. You'd be surprised. <laughs> so let's have a see. <laughs> What's the first point where you see the Lavu? <gasps> yeah. There it is. That's mint. Oh, what a cool spot. Look at that. That is, that is pretty damn cool. It would be better if we had a rope hanging from it. But Dad took it out. <laughs> yeah, I took the uh, paracord out. Could have hung it from a tree, but we're having to use the pole. Which ain't a problem. Oh yeah, that's pretty damn cool. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to we're going to put a few of those ferns over it and leaves and have it a little bit more uh, stealth. We're going for a stealth camp today, guys. Stealth. So, we'll catch you in a little bit. <laughs> what do you reckon of that, guys? <laughs> Why is it with your shoes in? Awesome. It's like, like a, a it's like a massive bush. <laughs> that is pretty cool. So, It's going to be the front, obviously. But. Oh, Dad, I have what? an idea. What? Put some long ones. Ah, there. Stick them in there. Stick them in. No, we want to look out of them. Oh, yeah. So, let's go back and see when it actually goes invisible. It looks like a little hobbit hole. Oh. <laughs> it's a hobbit hole. Yes. Yeah, boy. Lord of the Rings, eat your eye out. This is the Shire. Oh, that's mint. That is really cool. An overgrown house, that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no, there's no way. There is just no way. That's What's just, that, Dad? There's no words to... to oh, probably something else lying down there. What, like a fox? Yeah, oh, that is ace. We should get some... Uh, Find it then, Some deer action in here tonight, I reckon. Is that worrying or good that I good. can see it? Oh, nice. No, it's, uh, it's really good. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, no. Except from your and back. Plus, that'll keep the rain off us tonight because it's, it's meant to come down about half past ten tonight. We're, we're meant to get ah, a bit of a thunderstorm. Blood me! So, Blood me! The oh, sun is coming down. We're at about, what time are we on now? Have you got your Fitbit on? No. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. we don't know what time it is. I reckon it's about seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah. 
Dad. So we're ready. I forgot. Oh. He's forgot. Yeah. He's dad, dad, dad all the time when I've got the camera on, and then he forgets. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get the tent started out now, and then geez. we're gonna get some food on. And this battery is seriously gonna go if I don't stop recording. So sorry if it's been boring, guys. <laughs> but I think that's pretty cool. Getting the old uh, solid fuel stove out. Converted. Yeah. Putting the uh, stove together. Get set, guys. A little bit tricky, but once it's up, it's pretty solid. Did you get it? Mm. Mm. I don't get it. No, me neither. Close up there, guys. It wasn't meant to be. And then just get the little skewers, pop them through. And I can get my transfer on there then. Because at the minute where we live, you'll have probably heard that we've had uh, some massive moor fires. Which is just, oh, take you on there. just through them trees there, and about a mile away, not even that, I would say. Um, that's the that's the more what set alight. So um, they are basically circling the area, checking for fires and things like that, regular. So if any smoke get, goes up. Uh, will be pounced on. <laughs> I've no doubt we'll be pounced on by everybody. So we're gonna just stick with the uh, the solid. Uh, sorry, the um, the liquid fuel, so that there's no smoke. Uh, looking at it, you look, it's fully green round here. There wouldn't be a problem, but because of this uh, issue with the moors, I ain't risking it. I don't, I don't want no coppers coming down on us about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Imagine, I, mean, I can think it with Bigfoot. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the stove. We're all ready to go. We'll get some food on. And oh, I'll just take you, let you through our little setup. So we've got the usual. We've got a few pans here. We've got the kettle, but I forgot, like an idiot, I forgot to bring coffee. How can I forget coffee? That is the main deal. Uh, I've got the patent there. We've got Charlie's on his uh, his what's it called? His iPod. Um, we've got I've got a blow up uh, pillar. Charlie's got uh, just a, a normal little camping pillar. And um, we've got the uh, the summer sleeping bags. And we've also bought these today. I don't know whether you can see the name. Cry Crivit, Crivit, and they're from uh, they're from. Little, the 17.99 each, but the quality of them is just superb. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to try and get you a bit of a close up there of the the, the quality of it. And the feel is great. So you blow it up. I'll show it you in the morning when I'm putting it down. Um, but it's like an instant seal. So as soon as you you take a breath, um, it locks in what you've already put in, and then it does. It did for me. Oh, it did for me. And then you've got like a, a little clip that goes over the top and holds it all in place. But this is going to be so much better for my night's sleep. Uh, we're not using any other mats underneath apart from this tarp that we've got. Uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty much ready. So we're going to get some food on. And then I'll show you a little bit more. We'll get some cooking going.
It's that a cookery show. <laughs> okay, we got the kettle on the go. And we've got the food out. <laughs> yeah, it's all healthy tonight, guys. All healthy. So, Charlie, he's on his uh, chicken and mushroom pot. I've got two um, super noodles. One from uh, Lidl, instant noodles, which is curry flavour. I've got another chicken flavour. Uh, the tom sauce and the tomato sauce is for this little beauty in here. Oh, yeah. I've got four sausages and in there is an egg. That's for the morning, though, so I'm going to... I'm going to fry up a couple of sausages now with the super noodles and that's my tea. I've got salt and pepper. I do recommend bringing these. If, you, if you're going to do some wild camps with your kids, these are so good. Two squirts and you've got some really strong juice there. You know, uh, so it's ideal. In a little cup or, you know, uh, canteen of water, you're sorted. And it, it lasts for camps and camps. Cannot cannot get enough oh and the spray don't forget the sunflower spray get that that's you know dead light easy carrying so we're in we're boiling no we're not boiling wow that's getting quite hot we're nearly ready we're going to tuck in have some supper watch the sun go down we can't really watch the sun set because it's uh we're covered in the in the trees but this is going to be mint tonight I really hope there's some rain and I hope we get to see some um, some deer. Just before we have tea, I thought I'll show you a, a, another new purchase. This is the, the candle that I'm on about, uh, the, uh, the tent candle, the UCO. And I picked it up from, from the US. I didn't know it was coming from the US actually. I was a bit gutted because I, I really wanted it for um, for the um, Skipson camp, but it it never arrived it took a while obviously overseas but yeah i'm quite chuffed with it so we've got it here that just pops up like well. that this is first time shelly's seen it as well so if you guys haven't seen any of these um like i say it's for it's for tents inside tents so it's a real candle in there you just light the wick and uh basically this pulls down there we go like that the glass pulls down you light the wick, shove it back up, and then hang it up in your tent, and it just gives you that uh, bit of ambient light that, that everybody wants when you're camping. <laughs> so it's going to be so cool in this wood uh, tonight with that. So yeah, that's the uh, UCO candle, $24.99 eBay. I saw it written and I saw it say Pink moon was on its way And none of you stand so tall Pink moon gonna get you all It's pink moon Ready for uh, hunkering down.
down. What's that? Oh, I'm going down. This is getting him getting in the tent. I've already been in it. We're not gonna shut the door because I'm hoping that There's we're gonna get some shots of uh, of the deer that's gonna run past just over there. Yeah. That's what we're hoping, that's where the game trail's going. Off into the woods over there. So hopefully, fingers crossed we might get something. But we'll uh, we'll have to see. Sheep! <laughs> yeah. This is really doing our head in. You see it there, it's like a white clump of flowers. Is it uh, elderflower? Elder Might be elderflower. Yeah. But every time we look at it, we think it's like some sort of animal. Sheep. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're up against. That's what we're up against in this wild camp. So we're all set. We've got the sleeping bags out now. Uh, Charlie's put everything away like a trooper. He's been working so hard while I've been trying to get things up on Facebook and. Uh, we tried a live stream on YouTube, didn't work. So, so, so I get the poop slippers. <laughs> yeah, you get the poop. He wants some uh, emoji poop slippers tomorrow. That's so so we'll uh, we'll see how good he is tonight. And a poop pillow. So yeah, he's done really well. So this is all set up now. We're going to get rid of the bin bag which is hanging up there. Yeah, uh, put gonna, it over yeah, there. Yeah, we're going to put it away because so it's got animals. it's got bits of food in it and things like that. So we obviously don't want to we don't want to be trapped by foxes and Sasquatch. Ah, oh, yeah, right. So uh, we'll we'll get rid of it later tomorrow in the before we go. So yeah, it's coming dusk now. What time is it, Charlie? About half past eight. Quarter to nine, something like one that. One sec, one second. Oh gosh. So yeah, so we're ready. We're hunkered down, eh. and we're going to chill out and listen nearly to the nine. ambience of the night. It's with nearly a, nine. Na nearly nine. Uh, with a what's it called on? Ah. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? That's with the the uh, the little lantern on the candle lantern. So it's going to be cool. Look at that drop, guys. You make it out. That's a pretty steep drop. Someone's obviously placed that there. Maybe not, it's just fell out of the tree and snapped. Look, that. It's fine, don't worry. Helicopter. Oh, helicopter. Plane. So, we'll get in the camp, uh, we'll get in the uh, the tent, get the lantern lit, and then we'll, uh, we'll bring you back. See you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Go. Okay, guys. I'm going to uh, do a first light of the UCO, UCO. candle. So. Extreme close up. Extreme close up. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, handy. They are quite flimsy, to be honest with you. I thought they'd be a bit more sturdy than this, but they seem to be quite, <coughs> quite flimsy. <coughs> it's getting a wick on. A wick? Is he wearing a poop emoji slippers? Oh, he might be. Okay, we're in. We're in. We lit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> we that's lit. That's cool. The thing is, that's mad hot already. Oh my. So you still got to be careful with it. I surrender. Extreme. Far up. Bend that, oh, bend that up to where it should be. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's bright for you guys, isn't it? Jeez, so bright. That's pretty cool, that, isn't it? That is really bright. A nice ambient light. Right, let's put it up in the tent. I surrender. Please, don't do anything to me. Where's the hook doing? Okay. There we go, we're on. Yeah, boy. I thought it was a torch then, so I shined it up like on there. Oh, that's a pretty cool ambient light, that, isn't it? <laughs> I'm trying to do it, I don't I know. know what it looks like. I know. He's trying to do it. Oh, that's cool. That's all that's it here, pal. Okay. Oh, God. That's pretty cool. That Hi, is really I'm nice. So these, they burn um, for nine hours straight. Nine you've got, hours? Yeah, you've got nine hours of light on that candle. So that's pretty cool. 
So I don't think we'll be out having it on for nine hours, but we'll have it on for a bit and just relax and chat. It's short when I blow it. Yeah, pretty cool. Right, I'm going to get in the tent and then we'll get back on and uh, and have a chat. never felt magic crazy as this I never saw moons knew the meaning of the sea I never held emotion in the palm of my hand or felt sweet breeze